Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hack GU Volume 1. So, we last left off, um, Kuhn and Pi had asked us to do some quests with them. So, we're gonna start with that. I did some off screening dungeoning, um, got Haseo up to 44, actually. We should probably replace his. Yeah, we should definitely replace his daggers. We're going to start out the episode by grabbing those real quick. We should have some new daggers by now. Let's see. Oh, as another note, we actually fixed the D-pad issue. It was this annoying issue with uh, how Steam recognizes the controller. Everything has to be through big picture mode these days. It's getting kind of annoying, but I mean, I guess big picture mode is not a huge deal because it's not really affecting anything. It's just more of an extra step that's unnecessary in my opinion. Let's see here. We actually don't have another, oh, another item for higher level, so. Oh well. This will have to do. So let's invite Pi and Kuhn to the party. As you can see, Syllabus and Adelie are both 44 as well. Ooh, we have a new mail. Well, we're not going to worry about that right this moment. We're going to go to the quest shop. And get these quests started. Oh, job details. Interesting. I think that's after you've accepted the quest. So we have two quests. Crab monster party in maze of the big... of the bird monster. 37 and 37. Both a little 37 quests. Let's go to the top one first. Give us an area word as always. We can just go ahead and skip this for now. Nothing really important, just an area word telling us to go kill a thing. I didn't realize it'd skip meeting the NPC too though. Next time I won't do that because it depends on the NPC that we meet. If we'll be unlocking another feature of the world. So, I don't know what kind of gear Pi and Kuhn have. Let me check their equipment really quick. Okay, their gear is actually pretty solid. Looks like Pi's gear upgraded since the last time we saw her, which is cool. Let's head to Disputing Grey Tiny Beast. We're a little overleveled for this zone, that's totally fun. That's going to be a common trend if we're completing everything. We're always going to be a little overleveled. Hey, you're. So look who's here. Oh. Alcade. Hi there. Are you guys going into the dungeon too? What a coincidence. So are we. Well, if it isn't the great Haseo. What? I'm surprised a cheater like you needs to take on quests like a regular player. Isn't that far off your style? <sighs> huh. Let's go. If we hang around him too much, it might rub off on us. <sighs> Again, that's fair. Haseo did use the avatar on her. So, to her, it just appears like he's cheating. It's an ability that no one can see that immediately one-shots the player. So, yeah, that's pretty much as close to cheating as you can get. There are just fairy orbs everywhere. Let's go ahead and pop one of these. Alright, so let's head south. Oh, there's actually enemies here to fight. Would have guessed it. And we're going to switch to our poison wing. This was the weapon that Adelie said would per be perfect for us, which is an exact keyword. I 
I believe this will be the last greatsword that we get, or er, sorry, broadsword that we get in the game. So we'll probably make a souped up version of it off screen. Wait a second. Now we came from that way. Oh, we never went this way. Okay. Before we go into a uh, fighting entrance between this episode and the next one, I may look into the entire doppelganger quest line and see how that's going to work out because we do need to go ahead and get our level 43 weapon. I believe the weapon we get from doppelganger is 43. I'm also not sure how it unlocks, when it unlocks, all that stuff. That was not what was supposed to happen, but that mob was dying anyway, so it's okay. But yeah, if I remember correctly, you have to farm for a specific lucky animal. You have to wait a certain amount of time in a zone and then, uh, like, walk a specific direction. Chance. When the doppelganger shows up in the area, I believe it's a bit of waiting that's involved with it, too, so. There's quite a bit that's involved with it, so. They're here again. Ah, oh, you're still here. We're on a quest. Huh. Why is a cheater like you taking on a quest? Uh, um. Hey, you cheater. Stop showing yourself around me. I might not stop myself from bashing you in the head. You were a PKK until recently, right? Called yourself the Terror of Death? Ha! I bet you cheated to get famous. Honest, people are busting their butts in the arena. So someone like you isn't welcomed in the tournament. <sighs> That's a nice speech. And you're the poor little girl that's protecting the order of the arena? Shut up! You don't know anything, so butt out of it! Huh. And you claim that you do? You know why he was a PKK? Or why he entered the tournament? Why he did this? What? You're the one who doesn't know. Hi! All right. Oh. So, you had some legitimate reason to cheat? Don't make me laugh! I don't have any reason to stay here. Let's go. So Pi actually took up for Hesea. That's actually a big circle. Let's go this way. But yeah, she took up for Hesea. It's an interesting change of pace. Because yeah, they don't really talk about it too much, but Hesea had his reasons for everything why he became a PKK. The irony is the story behind him becoming the PKK was all the PKs that he ended up upsetting, searching for uh, for Triage, hatched a plan to try to, um, to try to PK him. They lure him to an area telling him that Triage is there, and then a hundred of them waited there and ambushed for him. And they kept cycling in and out, trying to defeat him. Something is still here. It was actually, uh, I believe, Helba who showed up to stop the PKers from leaving the area to get more items. Haseo beat all of them, and that's when he became known as 
the Terror of Death, the PKK. Or the legendary PKK. Because he defeated 100 PKers that day. Damn it! Where did they go? The boss finally appeared too. <gasps> what? Hey, that's my prey! Don't even think about it! I was here first! Hey, look out! Damn it! How should we handle this? <laughs> Looks like it's just three. Oh, no, Alcane's in this fight, too. Hit 45. Sis! Big sis, are you alright? Are you okay, sis? Did these guys cause you trouble? You're gonna get it for that! Stop! Why'd you save me anyway? Who knows? Why'd you have to win by cheating? None of your business my business because you beat me I don't know what you're doing I don't know what your motivation is but what you did at the tournament is an insult to all the fighters of the arena I'll never forgive you for it one of these days I'm gonna get you back that's why till that day you better not lose to anyone else you can have that treasure that should clear my debt to you. Sis? Is it really okay? No way! You're giving the item to him? Hey, you got a nice item there. This is... It's perfect for a rookie like you. Did you invite me here because you knew this item was here? Don't get the wrong idea. We need you to become something that we can use. Thanks. W what? <laughs> it, it's not like you to show gratitude. Oh. Come on, we're heading back. Hmm. Miss Pai has a thing for Haseo, it seems. But Haseo isn't Master Yata. Ooh, two unread emails. We'll check those emails out in a little bit. Let's get this quest turned in and start the next one. Hello. This is for you. Thank you. I believe the item that we got was also um, something you can attach to your weapon. Let's go fight this boss. We won't skip it this time so we can see who the NPC is. Oh hey look, it's you again. So our quest is to go defeat this enemy, this monster bird thing, before her friend or her brother, I can't remember what it said, gets to it. Which is kind of messed up. She should, like, get people to help him so he has, like, more confidence in himself. Oh, well, not my problem. Alright, 
let's pop a fairy orb. Solo player. She must be sure of her skills. No, she's. Damn. Let's help her. Hey, wait. Ah, what a pain. Let's get going. We're basically one-shotting these guys. That's pretty bad. That was a close one. Are you alright? Those monsters should know better than to attack someone as beautiful as you. Oh Christ, we have, the, we have to sit through one of these. But now that I'm here, I'm not gonna let anyone touch you. Come on, please. Thank you. Huh? Wait! She's gone. She's a new player. Her level is nowhere close to what she needs to clear this dungeon. It's impossible for her to do this alone. What is she thinking? Okay, so I will do this as we'll go this way. Oh, no, this is dumb. I kind of look, this is a room. We should go south and loop around. So I have this way. Here I thought Pi was starting to like us. Okay, who's next? It's just one shot all of them. Yeah, we're reaching that point in the game where we're just starting to overlevel everything that we do. Unfortunately, it's a little difficult to not do that. When we're clearing all the dungeons and doing the side quests and stuff. Yeah, yeah, Pi. Keeping the guard up. But we are nearing the end of Volume 1, which is kind of cool. We'll be getting close to Volume 2 soon. Oh man, not again. Let's help. Don't cry later! There's just one. They could have at least given us the three they showed on screen. Thank you. Hang on a second. It's crazy to wander around this dungeon alone at your current level. You should at least form a party. I can't. Huh? I don't know anyone that would form a party with me. Okay then. You can come with us. Good? All right then. What? Hey! I can't allow a young lady like you to wander around this dungeon alone. It goes against my beliefs. I, Kuhn, cannot allow this atrocity to go any further. By the way, my name is Kuhn. Nice to meet you. Um, are you sure? Of course! No, forget it. What? Why? Hmm, maybe she's shy. What a nice girl. 
Dude, what is with you? <laughs> what is your deal, man? <laughs> uh, okay. Check out the spot over here. But yeah, this is kind of what it's going to be like moving all the way towards the end of the game. And we'll get some more difficulty again in game two. In game three, oh man, that's when it gets really fun. Cannot wait for that. Here's our chance. Ooh, <laughs> the sneak attack knocked down the fact that he had a uh, flight. And dead. I feel like I should just be skipping fights at this point. We'll just skip as many as we can come up, as many as we can get through. Because it's pointless. We're just we're one shotting everything, so. Let's get through this dungeon. But like I said, game two gets pretty good, game three it's a lot of fun. I'm kinda really excited for volume four. I hear it's kinda short though. Here we go again. Oh. Hey, we meet again. Since we're in the same dungeon, why don't we get to know each other? Huh? Come on, it'll be fine. Good, let's talk. So, why is it that you're so hung up on this quest? I'm not. I just want a rare item. A rare item? Yeah. The world is really popular in my class. In your class? I wasn't really very interested in games. So this is my first week playing the world. Hmm. And everyone started to show off their great weapons and items. But I just started so I don't have anything. And I got jealous. I told them that I have one too. I'm bringing it in tomorrow. I see. It's because they won't stop bragging about it. Like today in gym class. Gym class? Ha! What is it? So then, that means you're in grade school? Yeah, third grade. <laughs> so you can't trust online, man. Third grade? So you're what? Nine years old? Hitting on a nine-year-old, huh, Coon? I think a grade schooler is too young. Even for you. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Hey, wait! <laughs> oh, the plight of online gaming. You never know who's on the other side. I remember this quest from when I first played. I really, really wished it was just a girl. Or, no, I'm sorry, a guy playing the character. Sorry we're late. She's not waiting. You can't fight that thing by yourself. Just stand back and watch us do our stuff. Hmm? Hey, stand back. You're in the way. <laughs> Don't panic. I'm gonna switch to uh, the poison axes. Okay. Not that it lasted very long. Justice prevails. Just kidding. Hey, this is pretty nice. This is the perfect accessory for you. Thoughtful on the outside, but burning with passion on the inside. Soon she's nine. It's pretty rare, so you can show it off to all your classmates. Sure? Of course. Uh, I can't take this. Huh? Why? You guys kept saving me. I didn't do anything at all. I was so scared I couldn't even move. I don't deserve to get an item like that. Just take it, kid. 
Hmm, I think there's a misunderstanding here. It turned out to be an easy victory thanks to you. Huh? The monster's attention was focused on you because you didn't run away. So we were able to keep attacking. You watched, right? I'm sure you noticed. Really? Yes, really. It takes a lot of courage for a beginner to face a boss monster. You played a really important part in that battle. You were amazing. Now do you understand that you deserve it? Thanks, mister. I... I'm... I'm thanks so much. Cute little story you made up there. She helped out because she couldn't move during a battle. She just started playing the world, so I wanted her to have fun. I'm sorry that I gave her that item without asking you first. That's okay, but Kuhn... I didn't know you had a thing for younger girls. <laughs> She's much too young for you. Hey, her being young had nothing to do with it. I'm a champion to all female players. Christ, Coon. Hey, Coon! Uh oh. Huh? What are you ladies doing here? We saw you in town and came after you so we could join up. <laughs> She's in grade school, right? Uh oh. What? We've been watching from the battle. What? I can't believe you took advantage of a little girl. Ah, crap. You jerk! Come on. What? Bad, 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 bad. Wait a sec. It's a misunderstanding. I wasn't. Rip. Things like that happen sometimes, mister. Yeah, mister. <sighs> you can get depressed later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, back to the quip shop. this aren't I right Haseo uh, yeah well it's not like I did anything wrong I just wanted her to enjoy the world so everything's good uh, man everything was great until midway why did it end that way it's so unfair trying to get himself into thinking everything's fine all right so we've got those quests finished Kuhn had a little bit of a of a rough patch there. Gaspard's not here. I want to check on a few things before we end this episode. We have a little bit of time, so let's check the map real quick. Okay, we'll hop on the bike. I want to check some milestone stuff, because we've been doing a lot of things, you know, off screen. Even on screen, too, but we're doing just a lot. And we haven't checked any of the milestone stuff recently, so... More or less since we started, actually. Uh, the material shop, I don't think, is where we wanted to go, actually. No, we want to go to the different labs and things. Let's head over to, yep. I think this is a lucky animal guy. Yep. It's only 50 out of 50. We have quite a few to get. Got a couple with Pikmin. Still have a lot more to get here. This should be pretty easy to do. It's something I'll be doing before we finish the game off. Is just running around talking to literally everyone we see. Those loading screens are still really jarring. Whoop. 
Ah, almost. Around this corner here. I believe there's a shop here, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Sometimes we've rescued Mecha Grunty. Steam plate and the simple steam ring. Not sure what those are. Oh yeah, low level. Simple steam ring. Also low level. I think this bike shop gets unlocked in a uh, volume two, I want to say. There's one last person I want to check up with. That loading screen, man. I actually make that too, because the chim guy? <laughs> oh, we co we collected everything you wanted. So we actually finished off getting everything he wanted, just collecting 500 chims. That was all he needed. Eight chim assassins, four chim kings. 27 rare chims. I'm sorry, 20, yeah, 27 rare chims and 445 chim chims. So that's finished. It's a pretty easy one to finish, to be honest. Let's head down here really quick and talk to this guy. Yo. What's up, Dingo? See, so yeah, we did take out two on the blacklist: Greedy Cervantes and Gen Genya the Fatal. Both of these were off-screen, unfortunately. And then it just pays us. That's it. So we got paid for hitting the milestone and for the two uh, two um, guys on the blacklist. And then we'll finish off this episode by checking one last thing. Let's head into Canards at Home and check out the Book of 1000. Reached a couple more milestones. We're getting there and everything. Soon it'll be rank three. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and cut it there. On the next episode, we're gonna do one of two things. It'll either be going after the doppelganger, um, if the quest is actually doable at the moment. I might end up having to do it, the quest itself, like in a mini episode, kind of separate of everything else. We'll see. Um, so either we're going after the doppelganger or we'll be going to the arena for our final match against Endrance. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one.